right in that gap, that crease, right? I didn't know where I was going with it, really. I didn't think about student teaching. I just thought about my funnest experiences growing up were in ag classes. The longer I get into my student teaching, the more I'm like, this is awesome. And like, I look at these kids that like, you know, some of them have grown closer to me already, but like even just looking at the impact of these other ag teachers that are my mentors, it's incredible. I mean, like it's exciting to be able to say like these kids want to come take your classes, these kids want to come interact, they care about what you have to say. That means a ton to me and that, that makes me all the more excited to be a teacher. At first I was nervous to go to take education courses where I was learning to teach because that didn't sound that cool to me. It was the ag that I liked. Um, but once I got in with like especially Dr. Sorensen and Dr. Lover, like they have made the idea of teaching incredibly fun and so and they've prepared us so well, at least me, I feel prepared enough to come out here that this has been fun in the first few weeks of student teaching because I feel prepared and ready to do it. Pig is a dog is a rat is a boy. <laughs> they build their self-efficacy as they go out and interact with students, teach students, learn from the teachers that are out there. Very critical experience. Agriculture is such a broad discipline that you can come to this major really good at one area, maybe not knowing much about the other, but we kind of fill in those gaps and you become knowledgeable about everything. You can still hold true to your passion, maybe it's animals. And then when you become an ag teacher, that's likely what you'll be teaching is about animals and that's you know, set you up for career success and, and a career that you just love to do. There is a growing population worldwide. By 2050, the projected population worldwide is gonna be over nine billion people. So the question is, how are we gonna feed those people? And at the same time, maintain our natural resources. Who are the people that are going to be trained to address those issues, those socio-scientific, complex, global issues that we're faced with. I think the answer is agricultural educators. And you might have some... There's this misconception that you have to have grown up on a farm or that you've had to have gone through high school agriculture to be an agriculture teacher. Well, I was never that kid. I am a town kid that really enjoyed agriculture and I stumbled into being a high school agriculture teacher. Um, and I loved it, I loved every minute of it. We have a summer ag internship program and students who are ag education majors here at USU can be employed by a local school district through the Utah State Office of Education and they spend their summer mentoring, supervising, providing leadership development to high school students at a high school with an ag teacher. You know, the other thing, our ag ed students work for the College of Ag in a variety of settings. We've had some work out at the dairy, we have some work for a local veterinarian in town. And so in addition to getting the things that they need from our classes and from their ag classes that they take, they're going out and finding jobs in the ag industry to help boost that resume for, for themselves as well. I would say that our job placement rate is probably 99%. Everybody that we graduate who really wants to teach can find a job. It truly starts with agricultural education, I believe. We need a trained workforce that can address these issues. My students often tease me that I get on a soapbox quite often, and I guess I do because I, I'm very passionate about the issues that we address in agricultural education and I just am enthusiastic to help the next generation be successful.